Name something else besides the lumbar paraspinals that bends them backwards functionally. When you go back like this, go back like that, what do you feel squeeze, first of all? Your butt. Yeah. What else is back there that acts as extensors? Just give me two of them. Hamstrings. Hamstrings could do it. QL. QL. QL multifidi, right? QL multifidi can absolutely do that. So if they're not working well, he's going to overuse those. But what else do you need up front to make sure you don't go back? You need your abs. The abs do what to your pelvis? They tilt it backwards. So if he has an anterior pelvic tilt, I know something that's supposed to posterior tilt him does not work well. Correct? And it could be from his foot, for sure. But we'll get to that later. So I'm going to start to put the pieces together where I might want to look to see you know, where he functions, where I may want to put decompression pieces of tape in here. So if you, let's go through some other range of motions. If you put your hands up over your head, you have pain. Okay, can you side bend to one side with your hands over your head? Okay, go slower. Go the other way. Okay. Then go back to the middle. And then go the other way. Okay. And then go that way again. You like the right side more? Mm -hmm. yeah. See it? <laughs> yeah. He's like, dude, see, he, I saw his eyes. Dude, I don't want to go right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go right. <laughs> So I know I may be dealing with some QL issues in here. Or she will. So um, we're just going to show you how, I'm going to show you real quick how I might test that, but then I want to tape them up to, to leave. Because I, I can tape here, but I want to start to put together some suspects here. And if you don't have multifidi or QLs that function well, how happy do you think your disc is going to be down there or your lumbar is not going to be happy? And then he's getting ridiculous pain down which leg? So the left QL may not be too good. You see how it pieces together now? And then what else could I do to check the to QL? Yeah. I can just touch it, right? You can feel it. I'm going to touch it up here. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do you feel the difference on one side or the other side? Okay, it's just he's clamped down on the right, doesn't have anything on the left from what it looks like. Okay. So um, uh, let's tape you up, and then uh, we'll do a quick muscle test standing up, and um, maybe even one lying down I'll show you. So if you, if you bend to the right side a little bit, can you do that with your hands over your head and I have pain? Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to just got to push them back the other way, and you just resist that, okay? okay. You breathe. Go ahead. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other side. If it has pain, you tell them. Okay. It's not supposed to hurt, okay? Let me go here. See the difference? He just doesn't have it. He's already starting to cheat. Now lie here on your back with your head up here. <clears throat> and then I can see what's going on from this direction as well. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just going to check the QL from either side very quickly. Because I want to see how I would assess stuff before even taping. So I'm going to pull this way, which means he needs this QL. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't hold the table. You just meet my pressure. Keep your hands by your side. Just relax. Chill out like you're on a beach. Okay? okay. You meet my pressure and go. Does something hurt? I feel it, man. Okay. Let me know up here. Let me know if it hurts more when you try to do this side. Because nothing should hurt when I'm doing anything. You ready? Okay. And meet my pressure and go. I can't meet your pressure. Absolutely nothing there, right? I mean, the dude could. I mean, I could have just. I could have blown his leg. <laughs> <laughs> so that means that he's got massive instability here. So his spine's going ape shit. Right? Okay. So now I'm going to tape them up, and now I know where I might want to add some decompression strips and wrap strips to take into consideration what structure? QL. 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 So I'm going to tape that thoracolumbar fascia. So let's have you stand up, Chief, and hopefully we can do something to make you feel a little bit better. Can you guys hand me some tape and some scissors and then a big daddy as well? Do you guys find it helpful when I show you the assessment stuff? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no. I don't want to. I usually try to do this so I don't. And I'm not going to show you every single tape application, but I think if you understand the reasoning, it makes that other part easier. I think. Because you know, halfway through in, I was like, oh, he's going to show me how to do the elbow. I know one strip, two strip, stretch. Okay. So what do we do first for the low back to tape it? Go to explode. If he's in a lot of pain, I can get him on the table. He can curl up. He can sit into a chair. He can do whatever. Okay. So, are you okay standing and just doing yeah. a little bit of flexion? Yeah. Okay, so right, you go ahead and do that. 
You okay from there? I'm sorry yep. if you can't see me. I'm going to go here. Look how big these are. So I think they're probably going to be working for his multifidi too. And, uh, yeah, because if he doesn't have multifidi at the low multifidi, these guys are going to be. Yeah. That's so, crazy from the side. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So see, I, I did this, and then I'm going to fold over, see, so it's the same length. So this, this helps my OCD thing on the same length. <laughs> and then I fold over this way here. And then I'm going to do here. I'm going to start low and go high because there's areas where just knowing it's better to start here because if you measure long, you'll go low. So it can be, you can measure low, obviously be uncomfortable here. So I start low. I usually like to start right down near the medial side of that PSIS here. This is a big crossover zone here from the sacral tubers ligament across the pelvis. And then I'm just going to go up with no stretch. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a decompression pretty low here on him, like right here, because I think that that multiplies are gonna be an issue for him. So I'm gonna do a decompression strip there. You guys, I'll review this one. I'm gonna show you how you do it if it's a disc issue and you want to get a little bit more for where the disc is. You don't have to practice the starburst. It's very simple. So I'm gonna decompress across. I'm going to go right here, right at L5-S1 region, here, lay this down, and then these cross over. You need to make sure that when you do decompress and strip, these always end off of the other tape. These need to end on skin. So if I want to add a little bit more to that, I do what's called a starburst. I'm not going to cut these for time's sake. What I can do is this. I can take the tape. Okay. These are going to be a little bit shorter, but I can go here, and then I starburst here. See? Starburst. Yeah. These starburst ones, I don't mind if the, I want one strip to at least go to skin. Starburst, I don't mind if they touch other tape. Because if they've got a hot disc, they're probably going to be back to see me relatively quickly. And then, see, that's a starburst. So I'm getting extra lift, and I could do another starburst straight up the middle. Okay. It doesn't matter which way you start first. It's just lift, lift, lift. And then now I'm going to do the thoracolumbar tape application. Okay? Thoracolumbar tape application is the specific way you have to do this. You'll need big daddies for this. So if the thoracolumbar fascia is called thoracolumbar, it's not called thoraco, it's not just called lumbar, which means you have to hit this sweet transition zone here between the bottom of the rib cage, between T12 and L1. So if I have big daddy tape, I need half of the tape above half of the tape below. Because then this is going to wrap out and hit posterior fibers of my internal oblique and parts of my QL, yes? And those are major stabilization units. And I'm going to stretch this 50%. But he's a great case because I'm going to show you what happens and what you're going to have to do to change it up when his lumbar spine is that, uh, that <coughs> large. So normally we're going to do 50% stretch on the thoracolumbar fascia. So that's the one where I would go. So most people will have a back here when they round, and I'll have you round a little bit more if you can. See how it kind of rounds this out a little bit? And it would be kind of flat for most people here. So this T12L1 would look like this for most people. So if I stretch this there, I could do this 50% and lay it down. <coughs> and rub this down and fan this out and fan this out, right? Which is what I would do. So in here, I'm going to show you what I would do. I would do this. I would stretch 50% and lay it down. But what happens when I do that with him? You guys see this over there's here? Like a hole. There's a big gaping hole here because there's a valley. So if I lay this down this way, when he moves, it's going to pop off. So if they don't have this, you can lay it down like this. If they do have this, you have to do this first. Find your center, lay this in here first. This way, <coughs> see me? And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the anchor point, I'm gonna hold here. 
Then I'm going to tape the tape, and now I'll stretch 50%. Here, and then do I stretch this in? No. Here, see how this wraps around to the QL and the internal oblique? Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold here, lift 50%, lay over. Here. I'm not going to roll that down, and then here. So now, see how I'm getting off support here, into the QL, into the oblique, <coughs> and here. And when he stands up, I know he's going to tell me that he likes this one a lot. Stand up. The numbness went away in my foot. What was that? The numbness went away in my foot. What was that? The <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty powerful. Because why? Maybe what's happening is I'm giving him some. If the QL doesn't work, what happens is this hip hits the ground, strikes the ground quick. I need to lift it up here. So he's getting force transmission jamming up through this, which is going across his pelvis. That's called the deep longitudinal subsystem movement you'll see tomorrow. But now I want to check movement for him. Okay, so let's see if it feels a little bit better for him with movement. What's the pattern that was uncomfortable? Then into the side? Yeah. And if it is, that's great. If it doesn't feel any better, you have to let me know that too, because it's not about my ego. It's about him. Okay, put your hands over your head, okay? and then slowly go. That was better. Oh, okay. yeah. Plus, what happened is I'm looking at him, I'm looking at his nervous system, and his brain is saying to itself, it's okay, you can Ooh. move. It is, the threat <laughs> was gone. Now I want to check here, okay? Keeping in mind that I didn't do any soft tissue work, I didn't do any mobility stuff. So I, we'll see if we make a change. You ready? Okay. <coughs> okay, same thing. And hey, Alexa, I'll meet my pressure. <laughs> Isn't that really cool? Yeah. <laughs> this is totally different. Okay. Locked in. So he established stability and neural connection across the sling. So if somebody has sciatic, if they have hip problems, if they have, if they have problems anywhere, you tape what? <laughs> it's very powerful when you feel that, yes? Okay. So you guys got what I want you to do? Yeah. Okay. I would like for you, you can do that range of motion if you want.